Hi, this is Celeste from Createx Realm, and today I'm going to show you how to understand your customer database and your Adobe Business Catalyst. So this is a site I'm logged into, and when you log in, the new version is going to look like this. Um, so here's the intro of what's been happening as a live feed on your website. You can see there's been some submissions on web forms. So um, over here is your customer database. So we can click on this. And what I do just to see what's been happening with web form submissions, I'll click on cases. And you can see right now it's showing me, um, I got a filter here of the last six months. So you can customize this and uh, assign it you know, to anything. Um, you can look at different times of the year, weeks, yesterday, today, months, uh, cases. I'll show you that later. Sources, these are some of the contact forms I've put together. Um, so, for example, this looks like everything over the last six months. If I just want to show who's contacted me in the last six months, I'll apply that. It shows who's contacted me. And um, let's just go back to the all. And we'll click on one of these and take a look at what we have. Looks like... Um, this name has had some some contacts already, so we'll view that. Okay, so here's some information. Um, looks like this one is about the summer camp registration. It's one of the forms. Uh, I'm not going to scroll down because I don't want to reveal this person's information. Um, but basically, it'll show details, activity, what they've submitted, their subscriptions uh, as far as emails, um, different email lists, campaigns received, different emails you've sent out, anniversary dates, relationships show basically who they're involved with with other customers, if they have been referred to by other customers, um, their friends, whatever. It just gives you a better scope of what your customer's about. So if we go to cases, so you can show registrations happened here. Uh, so we got a S, uh, summer camp registration. Let me open that up. Minimize this a little bit. Okay. I'm just slowly scrolling down. There we go. So I want to make sure once again I'm not showing information about this customer. So down below is going to be actually everything they filled out in the web form. So you could take a look at that. Um, so you make sure you got all the information captured. And if something's missing and you want to get an update or you need to let them know about the status of their uh, order or their inquiry on the web form, you can just send a message from here. And so you can type out whatever you want to say to them and then hit send. That way you have record of what's been happening. Um, or if you wanted to create a whole new case, that's possible. Like if there's a fee that needs to be paid, uh, you can go ahead and create a new case so that you know where the customer's at at the moment. So right here I'd type in something like a deposit due. You can leave case number blank if you want. It doesn't really need that. You know, status I'd have is new. Um, you can assign it to whoever if you have a, a different workflows in here. Um, I just have one person on this uh, site, so I could assign it to her. Details, just mentioning uh, payment needs to be made. Um, and then there's other workflows that flows that have been created. Basically, these workflows send emails off to people when things need to be done. So a case would just be like letting, you know, reminding yourself that they need to pay their deposit and that you've possibly notified them. So any history you want to keep on your customer that you have a catalog, it's good to put it in here. And let's see what else they have. Oh, another feature that's nice is in this activities, You can create um, reminders for yourself also um, if you want to do a, like a task that's coming up and click there. Task name, 
let's say like contact customer due date you want to call them on the 12th to remind them about the deposit put in progress a reminder you know, have them remind me on the let's do the 10th at that time click more options assign to and once again um, she'll receive an email and if you want to put more notes to remind yourself what that's about so that is an option there I'm just gonna do a save so you can see it so on April 12th uh, Alina is going to be contacted about this reminded that this needs to be taken care of it's the same thing as the cases but this might be a little bit quicker if you just want to do a quick note uh, cases might be more for in-depth if a customer called about something or uh, there was an order that needs to be in progress so um, then you can also do if you need to be reminded to call someone it's the same thing if you want to do a meeting uh, the nice thing about this is it's integrated with iCalendar on your Mac so if I got this then I can look here and it will update me about the task that needs to happen. I'll close that. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me close this out. I don't think I've missed anything else. So that's basically how you go into your uh, customer database and see what's going on and create other fields and update yourself on what needs to be taken care of. So I hope that answers your questions and uh, good luck.